guys, it's Michelle here, and I wanted to share an album with you. Uh, it's another fabric album. Uh, the size is nine and three quarters by nine and three quarters. Um, the last album I did, it had fabric that ran the front and across the sides and then onto the back. On this one, we have uh, the front chipboard cover is uh, has fabric, and then the back. And then the spine has a separate fabric on it, and it actually tucks in behind the front cover and tucks inside behind the back cover. And it is another soft spine, and it has the inner, in, inner spine. The paper I used on this is Die Cuts with a View, the Primrose Stack. I think this is actually the second album I've made using this paper. I like this one. That's my favorite, the, the roses. Now, on the front here, we have a cutout from the collection, and then a couple little, little cut-aparts tucked in here. Uh, we have a crochet doily some recollection flowers, some prima flowers. The closure is a ribbon closure. Now this one uh, is different than the other ones. Let me show you. The spine is actually a combination of fabric and the gussets are made out of paper. Let's see if I can get y'all to see there. It um, it's stitched up each side of the paper and the fabric runs underneath it and then you attach your page to the fabric and these are actually all chipboard pages and I this is like I don't know like third fourth time I've <laughs> recorded this one I'm having a lot of trouble with the I've used my iPhone I use my work Android phone and I keep getting those black bars on the side of it even though I am holding it vertically. So if you have a tip on how not to do that, please let me know. Because I did a demonstration on how this um, fabric and paper binding system works. And I must have thrown it away. I, don't, I can't find where I put it. But I am doing another album. And I promise you, I will. Uh, when I show you all that one, I'll do a demonstration on what I mean by the um, fabric. Okay, on the front page, <coughs> excuse me, on the front page we have a swing tab here, and this goes up, and we have a fabric little pouch that's holding a couple little t tags or cutouts from the collection. We have some more flowers and lace. And a couple little gemstones here. On this page, we have a photo mat here, one of the cut aparts, and then also the little tag I cut out from the collection, just tucked in here. And we have lots of flowers and some lace running through, a little butterfly. Alright, on this next page we have a uh, ribbon closure and we have this photo mat here with more lace and flowers and then I have a little metal, <coughs> excuse me, metal embellishment that's a music note that kind of goes along with the theme of the paper. And this folds out and we have room for a photo here and then this just tucks behind here and you could put pictures on that also. Alright, on this page is a pocket page, and we have a, a cut apart from the collection, a little doily, I fussy cut out a rose there, and it just tucks inside. Then I took some of the ribbon and put it behind the paper and stitched that in place. We have a metal piece here that is uh, the bird cage that's going with the theme here. 
and the bird at the top. Again, flowers and some string and, and some ribbon. On this next page, we have a string closure. And it's tucked around this brad. We have some lace and flowers down at the bottom. We have a paper, uh, photo mat here. And then that folds to the side and you have room for photos there. This side here, we have another pocket. We got a couple of the cut aparts tucked inside. I have some lace here, more flowers, another one of that music, another one of those music notes, uh, some prima leaves, and then a little envelope, a little tuck spot in there for journaling. On this page, we have a string closure. And these pages here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I did stitching across uh, each one of these. And we have room for photos there. Some cut aparts and then lace across the top and some flowers. On this one here, we have a swing tab and this folds out to the side. Then here I just have a piece of vellum that I ran through an embossing folder. And then another photo mat here. On this page I um, made an envelope. And I have ribbon through here and you can open it and then you could tuck photos or any type of memorabilia down in here, little notes and then a photo mat right there and lace and some flowers on this page we have a, a pocket with some photo mats and we have a cut apart here from the collection some more lace I think that's the Martha Stewart lace and flowers Alright, on this page we have a swing tab down here at the bottom and we have more lace, another one of the little metal bird cages with the bird at the top. We have a photo mat here and that folds to the side and then you have another photo mat here. Sorry for the glare, that paper's got a gloss on it. And then we have a photo mat here and it flips open for more pictures. And then our last page, we have um, one of Tim Holtz clips that I put on some seam binding ribbon that I colored with my Lindy stamp, stamp game. And we have flowers and lace through here, some of the cut aparts, lace down there. And this one folds out and you have room for a photo here and then also a photo there. So I hope you enjoyed my album. And I'm actually almost finished with another one that I'm happy uh, and eager to share with y'all. But I will do that demonstration for the binding like I said. So if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment. And I will see you guys again later. Thanks. Bye.